This is a grammatical sentence formation course being taught by M. Kadir Vedichonai. Dear friends, today we are going to see pronoun part to three. You just write heading pronoun part to three. Pronoun part to three. You see here, we have already seen personal or subject pronouns. Then we saw object pronouns. Then we saw possessive pronouns. After that, we saw emphasizing pronouns and uh, reflexive pronouns. Now we are going to see indefinite pronouns. You just uh, write subheading indefinite pronouns. Indefinite pronouns. Indefinite pronouns means what? Titta vattava kuripudradala. Pattipudala kuripudala. Understand? So titta vattama kuripudala Particular of Kripada pronouns are indefinite pronouns. Understand? Shall we start? Okay. You see here, one, Namakezu Teria, particular, find out Pandala. None, particular, find out Pandala. Some, somebody, few, many, anybody. Understand? These are all indefinite pronouns because particular, Titavatama, Kripada, find out Pandala. Understand? Please start. One, comma, none, comma, some, comma, somebody, comma, few, comma, anybody, comma, many, comma, all, comma. Last one, all. Shall we start? Okay. One must use one's best efforts if one wishes to succeed. One must Use one's best efforts if one wishes to succeed. So here, one, Karen Thiria, particular point out Panala. Or the success Pana Gurumanal, or would your best efforts use Pana Vendam? Adiyar Namak Thiria. So particular point out Panala. One must use one's best efforts if one wishes to succeed. This is called an indefinite pronoun. Next. None of his poems. Or well known. None of his poems are well known. Our day end of poem well known. I Up in the case, none is an indefinite pronoun. Some say he is mad. Some say he is mad. Celebrate soldranga our paithiavano. Up here, yar and ille. Celebrate soldranga gentle. Some say he is mad. Up some is an indefinite pronoun. Next, some are born great. Some are born great. Salabere, Serapa, Parakumari Serapa Parakrang. Some are born great. Next. Somebody has stolen my bag. Somebody has stolen my bag. Yaro Yenudi bag, Tridi Tanga. Upon the case of somebody, it's not particularly pointed out. Understand? Somebody has stolen my bag. Then. Few escaped unhurt. Few escaped unhurt. Few na rumpa kuncha. Kuncha perda kaayam in lame escape on a hair. In the case le, few is an indefinite pronoun. Few escaped unhurt. Next. Only a few people. Only a few people have come there. Sela perda anga vandir kanga. Sela people da anga vandir kanga. In the case le. It's not particularly pointed out. Okay? So only a few. Few is an indefinite pronoun. Only a few people have come there. Next. Anybody can do it. Anybody can do it if they try. Anybody can do it if they try. Our girl Moit Sida. Yar Venamala the Sayamudim. Anybody can do it if they try. Up here, anybody is an indefinite pronoun. Next. Many of them are Punjabis. Many of them are Punjabis. Our girl Nerea Pere Punjabis. So here it is not particularly pointed out. So many is an indefinite pronoun. Many of them are Punjabis. Next. All have left from that place. All have left from that place. And the place in the Yelar and Karim Poitanga. All have left from that place. So here all. Is an indefinite pronoun. Next. All were 
drowned. All were drowned. Yellarum Mulgapatana. So all is an indefinite pronoun that is you are aware of it. Okay. Last one. They say he has lost heavily in speculation. They say he has lost heavily in speculation. They hear people in general. People in general. Our Sulranga, our Sudha Tatala, Nerea Yala the Tarna. They say he has lost heavily in speculation. Understand? So here, indefinite pronoun is nothing but Tittavatama Kuripudra. Particular point out Padala. And the Marikis is the indefinite pronouns. Okay? So all the above pronouns, you just write if you want. All the above pronouns refer to persons or things. In a general way, all the above pronouns refer to persons or things. In a general way, but do not refer to any person or thing in particular. But do not refer to any person or thing in particular. They are therefore called indefinite pronouns. Again, I repeat it, you check it out. All the above pronouns refer to persons or things in a general way. But do not refer to any person or thing in particular. They are therefore called indefinite pronouns. That's all. Next, we are going to see distributive pronouns. You just write subheading distributive pronouns. Distributive pronouns. So what are they? Each, comma, either and neither. Each, comma, either and neither. Each, either and neither are called distributive pronouns because they refer to persons or things one at a time. One at a time. At a title, one matter to indicate pannu. One person indicate pannala, one thing indicate pannala. But one at a time, you just understand. Okay? Each, either and neither are called distributive pronouns. You can understand from the sentence. Okay? Please start. Each of the players received a prize. Each of the players received a prize. Players over the or prize received pannanga. So, most of all players, but indicate pannanga, over the last month, they distribute pannanga. Okay? Players over the row received a prize. You know, one at a time. Understand? Next. Either of you can go there. Either of you can go there. In the case, either either or neither rent pay them. But that either are that or rent pay them, neither are that rent pay them. So either opposite neither. Okay? So here either positive, neither of the negative. Either of you can go there. Ungala Yara the Wortha and you pohala. Understand? Ungala Yara the Wortha Rendi me kurikide, but worther at a title indicate panda. Refer panda. Understand? Either of you can go there. Ungala Yara the Wortha and you pohala. Either of you can go there. Next. Neither of the accusations is true. Neither of the accusations is true. Accusations nine. And the Kutra Chatrilla, the red them. And the Kutra Chatrilla, Yedume, true ill, Wunma ill. Neither of the accusations is true. Next. Either of you can talk to the manager about this matter. Either of you can talk to the manager about this matter. Wungal, Yara the Wurther, Rendi Berdan. Wungal, Yara the Wurther, the matter party, manager, face along. The matter of manager Either of you can talk to the manager about this matter. Next. Neither of these roads leads to the airport. Neither of these roads leads to the airport. So in the case of either or neither, Matatra singular, you please understand. In the render roads, the render road Yadumi, airport is cellular. Neither of these roads leads to the airport. Then, each of these bags costs rupees 300. Each of these bags costs rupees 300. In the bag opened to me, 300 rupees cost. Each of these bags costs rupees 300. Then, I bought each of these mangoes for rupees 20. 
I bought each of these mangoes for rupees 20. In the mangoes were wondering, now 20 rupees ke wangini. I bought each of these mangoes for rupees 20. Then, either of them can go to the airport to receive the HOD. Either of them can go to the airport to receive the HOD. Our Layara the Wurtha, Mutatha Rendibida, you please understand. Our Layara the Wurtha, HOD receive Pana, airport to Pohalam. Either of them can go to the airport to receive the HOD. Next. Neither of his sisters participated in the dance competition. Neither of his sisters participated in the dance competition. Our sister Layarmi, then the sister then, our kid. Our sister Layarmi, Dance competition la participate panala. Neither of his sisters participated in the dance competition. Is it clear? Have you written correctly? Are you able to understand? Okay. You please understand definition. Each, comma, either and neither are called distributive pronouns because they refer to persons or things one at a time. Each, either and neither are called distributive pronouns because they refer to persons or things one at a time. Is it clear? Okay. Let me finish up to this level. Thank you very much for having attended this class continuously. If you like this course, if you are interested in attending this class, if it creates any positive vibration in your mind, Please share with your friends and others. It will definitely, certainly and surely make my dreams realized. I will meet you this time tomorrow. Until then, goodbye. M. Kadir Vedu. Thank you.